pre-algebra, Mr. Lawrence here with your flipped lesson for February 21st. Pardon me here. I've got some music in my ear and it's causing me a distraction. All right, there we go. All right, we've been talking about volume and surface area. Now, uh, today we're going to focus mainly on surface area. Surface area. We've got some bugaboos going on with my smart board. All right, hopefully they don't continue. Surface area is nothing more than the area of the sur surface. Almost said area of the circus, Mr. Lawrence, you silly guy. So if you know how to do the area of, say, a parallelogram, or the area of a square, or the area of a triangle, right? Or the area of a hexagon, or the area of a circle, you can do surface area. That's all you have to do is know how to do the areas of your different polygons and circles. And now the hexagon might be a little bit strange, but the other ones are pretty basic. So you work off that formula, base times height, right? Triangle, you divide by two. Trapezoid, you have to average the bases. So let's say we have a rectangular prism, which might look something like this. All you have to do to figure out its surface area is figure out the area of all the faces. Now with prisms, it's really easy. Tell you what, let's pretend that this is 20 centimeters. And let's make this 5 centimeters. And then let's make the height, I don't know, say 10 centimeters. Make the math real simple. You have to figure out how many different shapes you have. Well, I have three different shapes. There's six shapes that make up this box, but three of them are different. And so let's see here. First of all, this bottom one. Now let me highlight it in yellow here, this bottom face. See it there? Okay, that bottom. What are the dimensions of that rectangle? Well, it looks to me like it's five centimeters by 20 centimeters, right? Yeah, and I also notice that there's two of them. Look at this. That fits perfectly. Bam! See, there's two of them. There and up there. In fact, I'll even clone it and leave it highlighted. Okay? So, there's two of them. So, if I want, I can draw two or I can multiply by two, whatever. I'll tell you what, since uh, I'm on my smart board, I'm going to go ahead and draw two of them. There we go. So, I know there's two of them. So, I'm going to figure out the area of each one and then I'm going to write it off to the side. Well, base times height would give me 100 centimeters squared and this one's identical so it has to be 100 centimeters squared. So those two together give me 200 centimeters squared and I'm going to leave that over there. I'm going to underline it. I'm going to use it later. All right, let me get rid of these highlighted sections here. I don't need them right now. And let me take a look at uh, <coughs> the left and right side. And I'll highlight those in green. Uh, okay, this would be the left side. See it? And the left side would be, let's see, it looks like it'd be 10 centimeters tall and then 5 centimeters wide. Okay? And again, it's a box, so I notice that there's another one over here that fits perfectly. Look at that. So there's two of them. So again, I'll clone that. Again, you could just multiply by two if you wanted. And I'm going to figure out the area of these guys. Well, 5 times 10 is 50. This will be 50 centimeters squared and 50 centimeters squared. Putting those together gives me 100 centimeters squared. I'll underline that. Save it for later. All right, I've done four of the faces. I need to do two more. And the two I need to do would be the front and the back. And my floating tools are hiding. Okay, I found my floating tools. Yeah, it looks like I'm highlighting in yellow. I need a different color. Let's go with this lovely shade of pink. All right, so I need to do the front of my box. Right? There we go. And that box looks like it's a 20 by 10. So I'll draw that one. It's like 
20 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And again, I think there are two of them. If I scroll up here, and I'm not going to clone this one, but you can see I can move it back there. If I clone it, it's going to look kind of weird from the angle it's at. But you see there's a front to the box, and there's a back to the box. Front, back, front, back, front, back. Oh, I'm getting seasick. All right, so there's two of these. So I'll clone my picture here because there are two of them. And again, you don't have to draw it twice if you don't want to. You can just label it two different times, right? Or multiply it by two. 10 times 20 would be 200 centimeters squared. And this would also be 200 centimeters squared. Putting those together would give me 400 centimeters squared. Let me get that out of the way. Four, oops, I'm not in draw mode. 400 centimeters squared. Now, I'm going to take all these areas, and this is the hard part, I'm going to add them together. Zero, zero, and seven centimeters squared. 700 centimeters squared. That would be the surface area of this rectangular prism. I found the area of all the faces, and I put them all together. All right, let's look at another one that's a little bit more involved. Let me see how I'm doing on time. That's good. Okay, let's say we have this right triangular prism here. All right, what I've got to do first is figure out what's making it up. Well, the most obvious thing is I have some right triangles. I have this right triangle, which is a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And I think there are two of those. In fact, I'll clone it and see. It fits perfectly. I know. That, and there it is. It fits. All right. So I have a right triangle. And I know that's 3, 4, and 5. Now, to figure out the area, I don't need the 5, right? Because I just need the base and height, the right angle. So I'll do the base times the height, and I'll divide by 2. And I'm going to end up with 6 centimeters square. So I'm going to put a big old 6 centimeters squared in there. But I also know there are two of them. There are two of them. So this time, instead of redrawing it twice, I'm going to go ahead and multiply by 2. And that will give me 12 centimeters squared, because there are two right triangles. All right, let me get rid of these guys here. And let me try this rectangle here, which looks like it's the back side. Right? The back side of that triangle. Oh, excuse me, that rectangle. And that rectangle looks like it has the dimensions of 3 by 15. So I have a 3 by, oops, 15 centimeter rectangle. And this time there's only one of those. So when I multiply base times height, I'm going to get 45 centimeters squared. But notice, this pink one won't fit here or in the front, on the top. Okay, it's only going to fit there. So I'm going to have 45 centimeters square. Okay, I'll get rid of that. And let's go to green. And I'll do this one that kind of looks like the top of a ramp to me. There we go. See that face? Well, that's a big rectangle. Looks like it's a 5 by 15. It's a 5 by 15. So it's going to be 5 centimeters by 15 centimeters. And again, doing base times height, that'll give me 75 centimeters square. So I'll get a 75 centimeters square. Now, I've done four of the faces. Remember, I did two triangles because I doubled it. And I've done uh, the 3 by 5, 3 by 15 rectangle and the 5 by 15 rectangle. And there's actually one more rectangle.